Let's talk about building the future, literally. Progress isn't just an idea, it's concrete, steel, and sweat. If you want to see progress on a mind-blowing scale, look at China. They're building for the next century, not just tomorrow, with speed and ambition that's hard to match. This isn't just a construction boom, it's a revolution in how we build. Imagine a dam printed by robots or a skyscraper rising in under three weeks. It's about being smart, fast and innovative, solving global problems like clean energy and crowded cities. Engineers use AI to guide machines, designers create shape-shifting buildings, and cities are being redesigned to work with nature. They're tackling challenges like building airports on the sea and power plants on mountaintops. This is a story of vision, hard work, and millions of people literally building the future. So, let's take a tour of these engineering marvels. We'll see how technology is solving old problems in new ways. This isn't just China's story, it's a glimpse of what's possible when we dare to think big. Let's start with speed. Mini Sky City in Changsha, a 57-story skyscraper built in just 19 days thanks to prefabrication. They assembled the building like giant Lego blocks, each module pre-wired and plumbed. Cranes stacked the sections, adding three floors a day. Fast, safe, and with less waste. Now, scale. The proposed Phoenix Towers in Wuhan. Two towers, one reaching 3,300 feet, second tallest in the world. But it's not just about height. These towers are designed to clean air and water, powered by solar panels, wind turbines and rainwater harvesting. They'll even produce hydrogen fuel from city waste. At the top, the world's highest sky garden. These projects show how rethinking construction can create buildings that heal the planet. It's not just about scraping the sky, it's about making cities greener and smarter. The future of construction is fast, sustainable and ambitious. China's redefining what's possible, one project at a time. These towers are more than landmarks, they're blueprints for tomorrow. Let's see what's next. Bridges connect more than just land, they connect possibilities. The Jiangkong Canyon Bridge will be the world's highest, soaring over 2,000 feet above the valley. Building at this altitude is a massive challenge, thin air, wild weather and moving huge steel sections. Engineers created the largest cable crane system ever, able to lift 21,000 ton sections. Precision comes from China's Beidou satellite system and IoT tech, guiding every move. But the real innovation is in the bridge's nervous system. Sensors embedded in cables monitor stress, vibration, and temperature in real time. Data flows to engineers, letting them spot problems before they become disasters. It's a bridge that can feel and communicate. This isn't just a record breaker, it's a leap in smart infrastructure. Combining brute strength with intelligence, it sets a new standard for building in extreme environments. The Jiankang Bridge isn't just crossing a canyon, it's crossing into a new era of engineering. With the right tools and ideas, no gap is too wide. This is the future of infrastructure, strong, smart, and resilient. Let's keep moving. Imagine 3D printing, but on a scale big enough to build a dam. That's the plan for the Yangku Dam, 590 feet tall, built entirely by AI-driven machines, no human workers on site, just fleets of autonomous trucks, bulldozers, and pavers, all coordinated by artificial intelligence. The dam will be constructed layer by layer, faster and safer than ever before. This is a radical shift. The job site becomes a giant automated factory. 3D printing isn't just for the future, it's already here. In Shanghai, the world's largest 3D printed pedestrian bridge was built by robotic arms in just 450 hours. The bridge's flowing, organic shape would be nearly impossible with traditional methods. Sensors monitor its performance, collecting data for future projects. 3D printing uses less material, creates less waste, and allows for stunning designs. From dams to bridges, this technology is reshaping construction. The future is being printed, one layer at a time. Let's see how else China is pushing boundaries. What if you need an airport but have no land? In Dalian, they built an island. The Dalian Jinzhouan International Airport is the world's largest offshore airport, built on reclaimed land. Massive amounts of rock and sand created a new coastline, solving space and noise problems for the city. When it opens, it'll be a gateway to the world on land that didn't exist a decade ago. Now to the Tibetan Plateau, the Kala Power Station. 
It's the world's largest hydro photovoltaic plant, combining solar and hydro power for reliable clean energy. Solar panels cover 170 million square feet, soaking up intense sunlight. Linked to a hydro dam, the system stores water when the sun shines and releases it when solar drops. This hybrid approach ensures steady electricity, over a gigawatt, enough for a large city. It's a model for clean energy worldwide. From creating land to harvesting the sun, China is engineering solutions for the future. These projects show what's possible when necessity meets innovation. Let's look at how cities themselves are evolving. Flooding is a growing urban problem, but China's sponge city concept flips the script. Instead of fighting water, cities absorb it, using green infrastructure like rain gardens, wetlands, and porous pavement. These features capture rain, reduce flooding, recharge groundwater and create lush parks. It's a nationwide initiative transforming cities like Kunming and Shanghai. The result, smarter, more resilient and beautiful urban spaces. In Shenzhen, the AICT 3D printed park takes innovation further. Every element, benches, sculptures, flower beds, was 3D printed from concrete. Unique shapes built fast and with minimal waste show how public spaces can be both creative and sustainable. The park was finished in just two and a half months. 3D printing saves time, money, and resources. Both sponge cities and 3D printed parks prove that building smarter makes cities more livable. It's not just about size, it's about resilience and sustainability. Let's see how architecture itself is being reimagined. Sometimes a building is more than shelter, it's art. The Anji Culture and Art Center, inspired by bamboo forests, blends into the landscape with a roof like floating green leaves. It's not just beautiful, the roof shades the building and collects rainwater for cooling and irrigation. Sustainability is built in, reducing environmental impact and making the center self-sufficient. Now, the Fosun Foundation Cultural Center in Shanghai, a theater wrapped in a kinetic bronze facade. Three layers of bronze, Tubes rotate, creating shifting patterns of light and shadow. The moving facade isn't just for show, it opens to reveal the stage to the plaza, blurring indoor and outdoor spaces. It controls light, views, and transforms the building's appearance. This is dynamic architecture, structures that adapt and interact with their environment. Both projects show how design can honor nature, inspire people, and push engineering boundaries. The future of architecture is interactive, sustainable, and alive. China's buildings are becoming landmarks of innovation. Let's see how even the past can move forward. What if you need to build under a historic building? In Shanghai they moved the entire Huaihai Shikomen complex, then moved it back. Engineers lifted the 8,270-ton structure onto robotic hydraulic jacks which walked it to a temporary spot. This cleared the way for new underground shopping and subway connections. After construction, the building was returned to its original place, perfectly aligned. This feat preserved heritage while enabling modern development. It's a delicate dance of planning, precision and robotics. Shanghai's approach proves you don't have to choose between history and progress. Even schools have been walked to new locations. With technology and creativity, even the most permanent structures can move. Sometimes, the most innovative project is moving the past into the future. China's megaprojects are more than construction. They're a blueprint for the future. Skyscrapers built in weeks, dams printed by robots, bridges with digital nervous systems, these projects rewrite the rules. Technology is the common thread. AI, robotics, and smart sensors make construction faster, safer, and greener. We're building in places once thought impossible, from the sea to the mountains. But the real lesson is about solving real-world problems. Sponge cities fight flooding and climate change. Hybrid power plants model a clean energy future. Skyscrapers like Phoenix Towers aim to heal the environment. These projects show we can build in harmony with nature. They inspire us to think bigger, smarter, and greener. The challenges ahead are huge, but our capacity to innovate is greater. The future of construction is about building better, not just bigger. And that's a future worth building, together.